welcome back to the cad sisters happy friday you guys we are going to do a truth or drink so if you guys want to join us if you guys want to grab a drink exactly then go right ahead but we are just going to ask each other a handful of truths and if we can't answer it we're gonna take i'm gonna take a shot and then she's going to take sips of her champagne i'm gonna have a mimosa today and i chose champagne today in celebration of hitting two million on tiktok you guys thank you so much and make sure to follow me on tiktok if you haven't already it's at karina kajalska as well as her tiktok at victoria kajalska and our con our joint tiktok at cad sisters she did hit 2 million on her video which is huge and her platform is only growing more so definitely hop on and check it out everything is in the description box we did post a video on wednesday so i hope you guys watched it we did say and give a lot of updates along the way as we got ready so other than that, let's get straight into the video. I had a little bit of a mimosa earlier to celebrate, so. Yeah, um, uh, oh, what the heck? Let's <laughs> see what we're drinking tonight. Today, while well, I am drinking martini, this is just a champagne brand, and I'm mixing it with orange juice. And uh, I am drinking Jack Daniels, the honey one. Okay, so I had like a pretty bad experience with the original Jack Daniels and I just couldn't even smell it. I'm pretty sure you guys can guess why. So ever since I actually gave this one a try, I fell in love with it. So I, don't know, I just decided to get it because they had it in the store. I'm definitely going to take a shot with you guys before we do start the questions. I'm sure Beba can take a little sip for you guys too. I will. This shot glass is the cutest thing ever. It is. Right? I love it. <laughs> oh, I forgot to leave my phone. Oh my God. Yes. I'm like here trying to put it away. Cheers. That's Cheers. Kind of weird, but it's okay. Oh, well, I don't really need to do that. This isn't a shot, mm -hmm. but hey, I'm trying to match her vibe. Ooh, delicious. So yummy, you guys. Let's get into it. I'm kind of excited because I literally- I, I'm excited. Yeah, we don't know each other's questions. So let's see how many we can answer. I'm gonna try my best, you guys. I really am gonna try my best. Yeah. All right, so who wants to go first? Um, maybe I'll go first and ask you a question. All right, go for it. Question number one. What's your most embarrassing moment? <laughs> I had a feeling you were gonna ask me this. Um, hmm, why are you laughing? Uh, I got some good ones, you guys. I really have good questions. Oh, so do I. I know what to say for this now. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't know even, I don't know how I did this. I was in the parking lot and I literally just like hopped into someone. I sat in someone else's car, <laughs> not the car that I was supposed to be in. Uh, um, so that, that was pretty embarrassing. And the person was in there and they were like, what the, f you know? And I was like, oh, that I'm is so, so sorry. embarrassing. That's pretty embarrassing. Like that's yeah. really awkward. Yeah. But that's happened to me too before. Someone has hopped into the car while I was in my car. You know what I'm saying? I would be ready to punch somebody. I, I mean, I tried not to like act like crazy, but I was like, I was like, but you know those scary stories, like automatically, yeah. even especially as a woman, like you think about like, you know, you're hopping in my car to probably take me, so. Are yeah. we going back and forth? Yeah. Alright. Good luck. You guys caught me that one time. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're starting off really hot here for her. So, what's the worst intimate experience you've ever had? Yikes. That's a good one. I really want to take another sip of this. Oh my. Okay, but intimate, like, like yeah, being being physical with someone. Oh. Yeah. Honestly, I'm just gonna say that somebody really didn't know how to pleasure me properly, and I'm sure like a lot of people can relate. I can't really say a specific moment, also because of course that is like a little more private, but. I will say like it was just an overall problem, but I think I just took it differently than like comparing to that person. So I think that's why it really was more of a more of a non-pleasurable 
experience. Yikes. That's yeah. all I gotta say. Yikes. Yeah. Question number two. Are you crushing on someone? Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. I love that. Uh, this one's sweet. So what's your love? Uh, <laughs> oh, what's your la 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 la? <laughs> what's your love language? My love language, honestly. Yeah, just, would... just list off three. Bang it off. Boom, boom, boom. It would honestly be um, acts of service. That's a big one. I would definitely say, obviously, affection is a big thing. I just like to touch and I like- Yeah, physical touch, physical affection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then something that I love in general is definitely love letters. Like if someone's writing, I feel like I connect to that because I've always been that way in the sense that I can really put down my words on that's, paper. That's kind of like, Words of affirmation. Yeah, but I guess that's like yeah. one specific. Yeah, thing. that can fall into it. Question number three. Do you have beef with people or somebody? Um, not no like active beef, but okay. I think, yeah, not active beef. Okay. How many times have you been in love? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> snap. I can definitely say for sure once. The second one, I could say that I that I was, but I also don't. I was really young, and I think that was like my first like. Um, well, it's valid, you guys. Like this was a completely different situation that obviously is personal, but valid. Question number four: What is your move to seduce someone? <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Um. Um, Spill it out. You start with kissing. That's all you have to know. You start okay. with kissing. You just, I mean, obviously I'm not just gonna grab no random person and kiss them, but if it's like with my partner, you know, start with kissing, you just grab them. What are red flags to you? Uh, red flags as in, like, um, what's a red flag about like a dude or, okay. you know. I might give a few. I need another sip. Oh, Do it. that's horrible. <laughs> a red flag. Would it be the fact that someone gets, oh, what's that word? I'm thinking of it in Polish. Say it to me in Polish. I don't know, probably. Um, the word that I'm thinking of is, it's obrażane. That's like getting pissed off. That's what, that's what I mean. It's like, I guess a uh, short fuse. Oh yeah, short fuse, that's a good that, Yeah, that's the best way to describe it. Someone's short fuse, I think that's a red flag um, because then it just shows like, you know, the man doesn't have patience yeah. and in a lot of situations, that's just how he's gonna react right off the bat. The second one is obviously if you just can't communicate or if you can't work through a problem. The third one I would say is when you don't work as a team. That can mean a lot, a lot of things, like you don't help each other out or you guys are not there for each other. Oh. This is another one when somebody feels jealous or kind of defensive when you want to go out or you have a plan. Yeah. I, I think that's a pretty Yikes. big one. Yikes, that's like some crazy possessive. Yeah, because wow. we've also seen that with our friends. Yeah, with our friends and people yeah. around us. It is horrible. Nobody should feel as if they have to like stay in because someone else is being insecure. Someone else just has their own reasons. Like that's your problem. Yeah. And a lot of the time, like the person that it's happening to is like blinded by it low key. You mm -hmm. then like end up not going or not doing your yeah, thing. Yeah, so it's like, pretty not realize that. Yeah, so I would think it's definitely just all about that. So, question number five, do you miss your ex? I feel like not talking about any of my like past people on my YouTube channel is like the best idea. So I'm not going to answer that question just and because- And she's gonna take a sip. Thank you. <laughs> Here I am about to take another sip. I'm gonna take another little one. Just... Um, yeah, a drink because- <laughs> When did you lose your V card? Mmm. I am going to not answer this, and I'm just going to take a shot to it, but maybe down the road, you know, you guys are going to get to know us somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I agree. 
Question number six. Did someone ever try getting your man while you were with him? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Bro, I hate that. Yeah, like, oh my God. It is uh, literally all on the table when that happens. Yeah, there's been a couple instances. Um, the girls just don't know how to control themselves sometimes. I don't even want to get into that because that those, all those times that that has happened are wild. People can be nasty. Yeah, like, it's, nasty. it's honestly men and women. Yeah. If you are that type of person, you just have literally no respect and that's why it gets me triggered. But also yeah. because it's like, if that's my man, that's my man. Like, why are you even bothering? Yeah, if you are doing that, that is major loser activities. Like, <laughs> For real. Major loser activities. What's the worst thing you've ever done at work? This is a story, you guys. When, I'm don't, not gonna don't say, say no, place. no, 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 no. When I was working, I actually went to get my lips done and continued working. Question number seven, how many body counts do you have? That's so personal. <laughs> Just give them a quick flash. There you go. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Low, low, low. <laughs> For real, that song should be in the Shut background. It. Low, low, low. What's the most lit you've ever been? Okay, no, I won't go into details, but I think I know exactly what she's talking about because when I was 16 just for reference like I was definitely younger and like I didn't have experience like that with liquor anyway And I barely ate that day and so I went to a music festival on top of it all and I Blacked out and the rest was history. I was safe though and I had Karina with me That's really all I have to say about that. Yeah Question number eight. Have you ever said I love you and didn't mean it? Oh, I was thinking about this the other day, you guys. Um, someone from my past. I, I thought I loved this person, but um, I didn't. Do I know who you're talking about? Yeah, I think I think so. No, I love this person, but I wasn't in love with them. Just too too young to fully understand what being in love was, you know? Oh my god, I know who you're talking about. I was like, yeah, yeah. Who are you talking about? But yeah. it just clicked. What's the worst thing anyone's ever done to you? Ooh. I mean, there, you know, we can all say a handful of things that I think people, like what people have done to us. I would say my ultimate thing, because it's actually happened quite a few times, which is pretty disappointing to say. People around me, especially girlfriends, they ended up reeling in past people that were history. So like even on like Karina's side, for an example, or I think that they just crossed the line and they did their thing. And I'm sure you guys know where I'm heading with it, but yeah, just overall, I think that was pretty disrespectful. Yeah, like actually horrible. Like Especially because they, they know certain things and then you choose to bring those people back. Like, I don't, I don't mess with that. That's probably one of the worst things. Yeah, dirty. Question number nine, who's the last person you searched on Instagram? Oh, let me look. Emma Lager. <laughs> Shout out. Repping Vancouver influencers. Love you, Emma. You are so sick. So dope. Yeah. I love her feed, you guys. It is insane. Like, it's just perfect. What's your guilty pleasure? My guilty pleasure? I don't know if it would be like a guilty like pleasure, but I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think simply just checking out new spots going to new spots yeah i love it question number 10 have you ever ghosted someone if yes why i have the exact same question in my phone really yeah i've ghosted many people uh for so many reasons um you're weird i didn't like you after i met you <laughs> uh, not to be an uh, a-hole if you're weird i i'm gonna go ghost and i'm not talking mm. about like the funny weird if you're being a genuine creep Goodbye. Have you ever practiced kissing in the mirror? What is that supposed to mean? Do you just stand there I mean, <laughs> and you kiss the air? It kiss the mirror, I think. <laughs> you know what, you guys? I did when I was a little. <laughs> I didn't know that. Because you don't just say that. But yeah, I won't like lie, but I, I know you guys out there have done it, okay? I did it like, once when I was little. I know I was curious, like how did it work? Like, how do people do it? So yeah. Question number 11. Do you have any anonymous accounts on Instagram? She's gonna yawn. 
don't know if I'm gonna answer that. Slim Shady. back in here. Who has the best sense of humor in this room? <laughs> you want a little back end compliment? It's definitely you. Yeah, I have a crazy mm -hmm. <laughs> humor. Karina is so freaking funny. All in one go, baby. Let's do another. Relax yourself. Question number 12. Do you enjoy dirty talk? Oh my god. Well, I can answer this, but in a certain way. How are you gonna get anywhere if there's none of that? Not like that. How? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. That's How are you, you gonna get anywhere <laughs> in life if you don't no, do that? No, I want to be intimate with a partner, um, and there's like none. Like, imagine just being silent and being like, oh my love be so weird. You need to say something. Who was your first real celebrity crush? I can't remember Tra my first yes, real one. Do. Oh no, I do. I do. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, definitely Usher. Usher baby. When I was like in grade freaking four or five, like that's when it started. My cousin introduced us to Usher. Usher. We um would listen to his music. We would jam out in our cousin's car when we were little, like these little girls. Like, I love the old old, songs. old Usher songs like Love in This Club. Um, ooh, take it there and it's <laughs> Question number 13. What's the longest you've gone without intimacy? Seven months. So have you ever ghosted anyone? If so, why? Yes, I have multiple times multiple multiple times because i don't know it's just people's intentions or you're just you're just weird i can really feel people's energy even yeah, through a phone can. yeah we know what you're on or you're dead ass just somebody that i respectfully keep in my past so i yeah. don't feel the reason to respond uh, question number 14 have you faked an orgasm? I think every woman has. I'm gonna cheers though, because honestly, I've been answering cheers. questions pretty straight. <clears throat> Me too. Mm -hmm. My next question is, what's the meanest thing you've ever said to someone? I'm not, like, I'm not a bully. Like, I don't say mean things just to say them. So I can't really, I truly can't recall anything that I've said that was mean to somebody. If we get in an argument or if we aren't on the best terms, then maybe I've said something blunt. I don't know, so I'm just gonna take a shot. If you wanna take a sip with me, you can. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Question number 15. What is the dirtiest text you've received? Well, I'm not gonna answer that. <laughs> yeah, a spicy. Going back to the fact that we have like so many of the same questions, mine was just worded, have you ever faked a no-bomb? Yeah, yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Question number 16. Have you ever had a secret relationship? I had like a situation ship that I um, kept in the dark for a while. Not like in a bad way, but just because I like to be private but not secret. This situation ship had potential to be a relationship relationship. I like to keep things kind of like to myself until I kind of know that they're heading in like the right uh, direction. Obviously later my like family and friends got to know more about it. Is there a person you despise in this world? I don't know if I can despise anybody over time. You shouldn't hold any grudges, but I think there's one person that I have almost like a resentment to, but I at the same time, I played a part in it. Question number 17. <clears throat> Have you ever sexted? Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Have you ever had a friends with benefits situation? You know what? I don't really know how to answer that one, so I'm just gonna take a shot. It's finito, okay? Me too. 
Question number 18. Have you ever read your face texts over their shoulder? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if we're like on the couch and like watching something or whatever. Yeah, duh. I mean, let's say like your man's like laying like right here. They're facing the TV. You have to well, also, and if the screen I mean, is like, like right yeah. there, like you, how is your eyeballs supposed to stay on the screen the whole That's time? That's true. Because this light is like reflecting at your face in the dark. <laughs> what is an ick for you? What is an ick? Oh, leaving the toilet seat up. You know, just close it. Close it. Question number 19. Dominant or submissive? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, depends on the day. So you're both. <laughs> What's the one thing you would do if you knew there were no consequences? I honestly think I would take everybody's unreleased songs from every artist that I love and I would keep it in my own vault. That'd be lit. If I could just have all these so songs. So she would up. hack it pretty much and just take it. Well, nobody else would have them, only me. And I would just be bumping the songs and everybody would be like, whoa, where did you get that? And I'd be like, I wouldn't be the one to like just share it, but I would love it for myself. Last question, you guys. Do you regret any guy or girl in your life? Yeah. I don't regret anything in my life, but some people, they totally could have been skipped in my life. But you do learn a lesson too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, some people are meant to stay for a season and some people are meant to stay for a lifetime. What's the cringiest thing you've ever said during Dirty Talk? I don't think I've said anything cringy in my opinion. Like honestly, I don't think I have. But okay. I'm just gonna take okay. a shot anyways. All right, you guys, so I think that that concludes this video. I think it was super fun. Yeah, this was a lot of fun, right? I enjoyed this a lot. You were kind of like on the loose and you didn't mm -hmm. know what was coming. If you guys have any other ideas or things that you would like to see, leave a comment down below. We always check everything mm -hmm. that you guys put out to us make sure to keep in touch with us we always try to respond back well we don't try we do respond mm -hmm. and make sure you leave a comment like and subscribe make sure to turn on our post notifications so you know every time that we post i think i'm gonna end this video off with finishing my drink i'm gonna take a shot with you to end it off and if you guys are also drinking with us, pour one. Let's end the night well. Cheers. Cheers, you guys. Whoa, my elbow cracked. Okay, thank you guys so, so much, and we will see you so soon. Bye, guys.